Hey guys, so I thought I'd come on here and read you another book today. And if you remember back in December, we did a whole week long unit on gingerbread men stories. We compared them and contrasted them, it talked about what we liked, what we didn't like. And I thought I would read you a different one today that we didn't read during that week. And that is The Gingerbread Man Loose in the School. Um, I am going to use my metacognition and think about questions before we read. What is he going to do in this school? Well, if he were at Breck Frank, he could go to Miss Fleener's art room and do some centers there. He could go to Miss Mudd's computer room and maybe um, get into his dashboard or check into his backpack. He could go to Mr. Irizarry's gym and he can ride on the scooters. He could go to Miss Hawkins' library and maybe check out a book or check out the new furniture she has in the library. He could go to Miss Mueller's music room to play on those awesome drums she has in there. I can't wait to hear you all play on those drums. Um, he can go to Miss Jade's cafeteria and have a nice lunch. I know a lot of you all like Pizza Friday, so hopefully he gets loose in our school on a Friday. Um, but I really do hope that if he does get um, lost in Breckenridge Franklin that he would come and see what a fun classroom we have, and I think he would. Um, let's see what happens and what he does when he gets loose in his school. I began in a bowl. I was not yet myself. Just a list of ingredients pulled from a shelf. Sugar, ginger, salt. Chosen by children who measured and mixed my smooth spicy batter while sneaking quick lips. Yummy. He says spicy. Do you remember when we tried the gingerbread men? Did you think they were spicy? I think a lot of you all needed a drink of water after we tried it. A sprinkle of ginger, some cinnamon too, molasses, soft butter, and eggs as my glue. Then in their classroom, the children began to roll me and mold me to look like a man. They added some sweets to make me complete. Licorice, cinnamon candies, mints, and icing. And I baked on a pan in the warm oven heat. It's pretty toasty in here. I heard a small ding, and they pulled out the pan. Finally, I thought, I'm a gingerbread man. The teacher called recess. The class jumped in line. They raced out the door, and they left me behind. I popped off the pan, yelling, please take me too. I want to be a part of your class just like you. I'll run and I'll run as fast as I can. I can catch them. I'm their gingerbread man. That must be his catchphrase. Remember every gingerbread man story we read? They each had a different catchphrase that they would repeat. Do you remember any of the other catchphrases from the other stories? Bouncing and bounding my way down the hall, I rounded the corner and spotted a ball. It rolled up so fast, I had no time to hide. Then flat as a pancake, I stuck to its side. The coach picked it up and I started to bounce. There's somebody down here, I had to announce. Who's that, he said stopping. Well, let's have a looky. He jumped when he saw me. Good grief, it's a cookie. I'm the gingerbread man and I'm trying to find the children who made me but left me behind. Your class passed the gym a few minutes ago. Run fast and you'll catch them. Oh no, where's your toe? My toe, it came off. Now what should I do? Go straight down the hall and our nurse can help you. I'll limp and I'll limp as fast as I can. I can catch them. I'm their gingerbread man. I picked up my toe, then into a room that was tidy and small. The nurse came right over. She squatted down low. I pointed and showed her my broken off toe. You're quite a tough cookie. We'll fix you like new. I grinned and said, thanks. I'm a smart cookie too. 
You certainly are if you found your way here. And what a bright face that no, not one single tear. She fixed up my toe with a small dab of glue, then reached for a bandage and stuck that on too. I'm the gingerbread man and I'm trying to find the children who made me but left me behind. Your class turned the corner just minutes ago. Try asking the art teacher. Maybe he'll know. He's right down the stairs. You can take a quick ride. Just hop on the handrail. It makes a great slide. I'll slide and I'll slide as fast as I can. I can catch them. I'm their gingerbread man. <coughs> Excuse me. With spectacular speed, I slid to the floor and bounded in through a large wooden door. I leapt for a table, but landed inside a brown paper bag with its top open wide. I plopped on a sandwich and chips with a crunch. Oh no, I cried out, I'm in somebody's lunch. That's silly. I tried to come out, but I spied two big eyes. They peered in the bag with a look of surprise. Who do you think that is? I'm the art teacher here, he said with a grin. This is my lunch bag. So glad you dropped in. I'm the gingerbread man and I'm trying to find the children who made me but left me behind. Your class passed the art room just minutes ago. You might ask the principal. Maybe she'll know. I leapt from the table. I waved and then said, thanks for not taking a bite of my head. I'll skip and I'll skip as fast as I can. I can catch them. I'm their gingerbread man. I passed through an office, slipped under a door, and discovered a room I had yet to explore. I jumped on a desk, then leapt to a chair. It started to spin and I twirled through the air. I bet F, um, Officer Buckle and Gloria would have a nice safety tip for him. I can't remember which safety tip it was, but I do remember, do not stand on a swivel chair. Do you remember what safety tip number it was? If you do, let me know. Despite feeling dizzy, I jumped up for more, but froze when I saw someone peek in the door. Principal Peacock, she said, stepping in. That is my chair you just took for a spin. I'm the gingerbread man, and I'm trying to find the children who made me, but left me behind. The children you mentioned just left you too cool. They're hanging these posters of you through the school. So they made, it looks like, missing posters, and it has a picture of him. So they're looking for him while he's looking for them. And there on the wall was a drawing of me. The poster said missing from room 23. If found, please return him as soon as you can. We think he is lost. He's our gingerbread man. I jumped in her hand. Can you show me the way? We rushed to my classroom to shouts of hooray! The class said, we miss you. We want you to stay and be our new friend. Please don't run away. We made you a gingerbread desk and a chair and a house all your own. It is cozy in there. You're part of our class now. You are where you belong. Next time we go out, we will take you along. I felt right at home here. I liked my new place. I looked out the window, a smile on my face. I ran and I ran as fast as I could. I finally found them. I knew that I would. The end. And on the back it says, What's the gingerbread man to do when his class leaves him behind? Go find them, of course. I thought that was really cute. I love that book. I love all the gingerbread man books. And I think it's really fun to see similar stories told in different ways. So if you find another gingerbread man or gingerbread girl book um, that you want to be read, just let me know and I can do that and we can compare and contrast. Um, and then let me know too what you think is better or what you don't like about this book compared to the other gingerbread man stories we've read. And I can't wait to see you at school. 
Bye.